Hello and welcome to our video on the dimensions of a supervised machine learning algorithm. In this video, we will be discussing the different aspects of supervised machine learning that are important for developing and deploying machine learning models. The main points of dimensions of supervised machine learning algorithms are problem type, input data, model complexity, number of features, output type, evaluation metric. Supervised machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence that deals with the development of algorithms that can learn from labeled data and make predictions or decisions based on new, unseen data. It is called supervised because the algorithm is trained on a labeled data set where the correct output or a label is already known for each input. Supervised machine learning is used to solve a wide range of real-world problems such as image classification, speech recognition, natural language processing, and predictive analytics. For example, in image classification, a supervised machine learning algorithm is trained to identify objects and images, such as dogs, cats, and cars. In speech recognition, the algorithm is trained to transcribe spoken words into text. In predictive analytics, the algorithm is trained to forecast future events or trends based on historical data. The importance of supervised machine learning lies in its ability to automate decision-making and improve the accuracy of predictions. It enables organizations to extract insights from large and complex datasets, make data-driven decisions, and improve the efficiency and effectiveness of their operations. It also has a wide range of applications in various industries such as healthcare, finance, and transportation, making it a crucial field in the current technological landscape. There are two main types of problems that can be solved using supervised machine learning, classification and regression. Classification, in classification problems, the goal is to predict a categorical outcome or label. For example, classifying an email as spam or not spam, or classifying an image as a picture of a dog or a cat. Common algorithms used for classification include logistic regression, decision trees, and support vector machines. Regression, in regression problems, the goal is to predict a continuous outcome or value. For example, predicting the price of a house based on its square footage, or predicting the likelihood of a customer churning based on their usage history. Common algorithms used for regression include linear regression, polynomial regression, and decision trees. In supervised machine learning, the input data can be broadly categorized into three types, continuous, categorical, and text data. Continuous data, continuous data are numerical values that can take any value within a range. Examples of continuous data include temperature, weight, and height. Continuous data are often used in regression problems, such as predicting the price of a house based on its square footage. Categorical data, categorical data are non-numerical values that can be divided into categories or classes. Examples of categorical data include color, red, green, blue, gender, male, female, and occupation, teacher, doctor, engineer. Categorical data are often used in classification problems, such as identifying the type of flower in an image. Text data, text data are unstructured data represented in natural language, such as words, sentences, and paragraphs. Examples of text data include emails, reviews, and articles. Text data is often used in natural language processing and text classification problems such as identifying the sentiment of a tweet or classifying an email as spam or not spam. Model complexity refers to the level of detail and sophistication in the mathematical representation of a supervised machine learning algorithm. It can be thought of as a trade-off between the ability of a model to fit the training data well and its ability to generalize to new, unseen data. A model with high complexity is able to fit the training data very well, but it is more likely to overfit meaning that it will perform poorly on new, unseen data. A model with low complexity, on the other hand, may not fit the training data as well, but it is less likely to overfit and will perform better on new data. There are several ways to control the complexity of a model, such as regularization. This technique adds a penalty term to the loss function, which discourages the model from fitting the training data too closely. Model selection, this involves selecting a model with a suitable level of complexity for the problem at hand. For example, a simple linear regression model may be sufficient for a problem with a small amount of data and a few features, while a more complex neural network may be required for a problem with a large amount of data and many features. 
Feature selection, this involves selecting a subset of the features to use in the model, which can reduce the complexity of the model and help to prevent overfitting. The number of features or variables used in a supervised machine learning algorithm can have a significant impact on its performance. High number of features. Using a large number of features in a model can increase its complexity and make it more prone to overfitting. With a high number of features, the model has more potential to fit the training data perfectly, but it may not generalize well to new, unseen data. Additionally, a high number of features can make the model more computationally intensive and difficult to interpret. Low number of features, on the other hand, using a small number of features can make the model simpler and less prone to overfitting. However, it may not capture all the important relationships in the data, which can lead to underfitting and poor performance on new data. Feature selection, one way to address the issue of high dimensionality is feature selection, which involves selecting a subset of the features to use in the model. Feature selection can help to reduce the complexity of the model and prevent overfitting, while also increasing the interpretability of the model. Feature engineering, another way to deal with high dimensionality is feature engineering, which involves creating new features from the original ones, or combining several features into one. Feature engineering can help to reduce the dimensionality of the data, but it requires a good understanding of the problem and the data. Output type, binary, multi-class. Binary, in binary classification, the target variable can take only two possible values, such as yes or no, true or I false, or 0 or 1. The goal of a binary classification model is to predict one of these two values based on the input data. Examples of binary classification problems include spam detection, cancer diagnosis, and sentiment analysis. Multi-class, in multi-class classification, the target variable can take more than two possible values, such as a red, green, blue, or dog, cat, bird. The goal of a multi-class classification model is to predict one of these multiple values based on the input data. Examples of multi-class classification problems include image classification, natural language processing, and speech recognition. Evaluation metrics are important tools for measuring the performance of a supervised machine learning algorithm. Different evaluation metrics are suitable for different types of problems. Accuracy. Accuracy is one of the most common evaluation metrics used in classification problems. It is the proportion of correct predictions made by the model out of all predictions. However, accuracy can be misleading when the class distribution is imbalanced, i.e., when one class has many more instances than another. F1 score. F1 score is another evaluation metric that is commonly used in classification problems. It is the harmonic mean of precision and recall. Precision is the proportion of true positive predictions out of all positive predictions. The recall is the proportion of true positive predictions out of all actual positive instances. F1 score considers both the precision and recall of the model and provides a balance between them. AUCROC, AUCROC, area under the receiver operating characteristic curve, is an evaluation metric that is used in binary classification problems. It is a measure of the model's ability to distinguish between positive and negative instances. The ROC curve is a plot of the true positive rate, TPR, against the false positive rate, FPR, at different classification thresholds. The AUCROC value ranges between 0 and 1, with a value of 1 indicating a perfect model and a value of 0.5 indicating a model that performs no better than random guessing. I hope you understood the compact and thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting machine learning videos.